Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me again for another SATS revision video. In today's short clip, I'm just going to be talking about a question that might come up in the maths reasoning paper again. And this is to do with uh, coordinates. Okay, so this is all about coordinates. Uh, we're going to look at some actual SATS questions based on coordinates. And I'm going to show you how you can help your child to attempt those questions and score some more max marks on those papers. Hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Thank you for your support, really appreciate it. Leave a like if you can, because that really helps the channel out. All right, let's get into it, guys. Thank you. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is another short clip on SATS revision, Key Stage 2, Year 6, Maths SATS revision, um, looking at different types of questions that may up on, come up in the SATS next week. These are quick wins, questions we can teach the children quickly this week so that they stand a chance of answering them correctly in their SATS. Um, they're taken from the math reasoning paper, which looks like this. I'm not going to go through all the questions in here, but I've just picked out some questions um, that will that we can teach quickly to the children and demonstrate to them so they pick them up uh, quite quickly and, and maybe score marks on them. OK, so the questions I picked out for today are coordinates questions. Now, there's a good chance there'll be a question on coordinates in the SATS tests in the maths reasoning paper two or paper three. OK. And this question here is a SATS question from a previous paper. So you can see what kind of thing it's going to ask. It says, Layla draws a square on the coordinates grid. This is a four quadrant coordinates grid with both positive numbers and negative. OK, three of the vertices are marked. Vertices means corners. The children would need to know that vocabulary, that language in order to attempt this question. You can see there's one corner there, one corner there and one corner there that have been marked on the grid. What are the coordinates of the missing vertex? Vertex means one corner. So we need to work out where the missing corner would go. Now, it's a square, this shape, so we know that information. So when we join up all of the dots, it should make a square. So how far, what's the distance between each of these dots? Now, being that it's a square, all the sides should be the same length. And if I measure it with my ruler, the children are allowed a ruler in their sats. It's about five centimetres and the same here, five centimetres off on a diagonal. So if I go five, if I put five centimetres here and I do a diagonal line in this direction, I come to a point. OK, and now I can mark that point with a dot. And if I join all of these points together, I should make a square where all the sides are equal lengths. And it should appear as a square on the grid. OK, am I happy with that? Yes, I am. All the sides look equal. It looks like a square. Now, but the question wasn't to draw the square. It was what was the coordinates, the missing vertex? So if you remember at the beginning of the question, it was this corner that was missing. The rule with coordinates is simple. You go along the corridor first and then you go up or down the stairs. And that's the rule we teach to all the children. Along the corridor means the first number of the coordinates should be along this horizontal line. The second number should be up the stairs or down the stairs. For example, the coordinates of this point would be 1 minus 3. The coordinates of this point would be up along the corridor 5, up 1. This point would be along the corridor 1, 5. So our missing point here is going to be along this negative line here. First, we go along the corridor. So I couldn't write one because that's going up the stairs first. The rule is along the corridor first, we get to minus three. And if I go up the stairs, I get to one. So the correct answer for this question would be minus one, sorry, minus three, one. And they would get a mark for that question. Let's look at a couple more coordinates questions together. Next one. This question says, A, B and C are three corners of a rectangle. What are the coordinates of the fourth corner? Once again, a very similar question. The children are going to need to understand shape, to understand that a rectangle is a four-sided shape with two short sides and two long sides. So just like I did previously, let's measure using our ruler what the sides would, lay, would, would, uh, would measure. So once again, this is five centimetres along here. And this is going to be shorter because it's a rectangle and it's three centimetres. So if I run my 
my uh, ruler three centimeters from A, and I mark that line, gets me to here, and this length should also be five, and it is. Now, if I go ahead and join all of these points together, I should complete my rectangle. And the missing point would be this one. Is it a rectangle? Yes, it is. I'm happy with it. It looks like a rectangle. But the question, once again, are what are the coordinates of the fourth corner? Remember the rule? Along the corridor, up the stairs. Along the corridor first, we get to four. Up the stairs, we get to six. Coordinates need to be written in brackets with a comma separating each number. Along the corridor, four, comma, and up the stairs, six. That's the correct answer. Final question on coordinates, let's have a look. Kyle has drawn triangle ABC on his grid. Holly has started to draw an identical triangle DEF, missing F. What will the coordinate of point F be? Once again, we need to know a little bit about 2D shapes, triangles in this case. And let's measure how the distance between each of these points. So between C and A, there are two centimeters. And between C and B, there are four centimeters. So I'm going to go from D, two centimeters up to here. And I'm going to go from there down to E, and it should be four centimeters. And it is. Once I have done that, I can then see that the missing point was here. Remember the rule? Along the corridor, up the stairs. What will the missing coordinate F be? I could even mark F to help me if I want to. Along the corridor, four. This time the bracket and comma is given. So that's my first number. And up the stairs, three. And they would also receive a mark for that question. So, what do we need to know about coordinates? One, the rule is along the corridor up the stairs. Two, to use our ruler when trying to answer coordinate questions. To make sure the shape looks accurate and looks the same. Looks like the shape that we're being asked to make, in this case rectangle. Okay, and to remember when we're writing the coordinates, if the brackets and commas are not given, we have to have brackets around them and commas in between each number. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.